Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Jester Kyle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Jester Kyle, uh, and it is a kind jester. You would have me as your jester, but I want to be just your Kyle. Um, we are starting into um, episode 11 of the Let's Play YouTube series. Uh, if anyone is playing along and wants me to upload the world, I will do so every uh, 10, uh, 10 episodes. Uh, so if you want to keep parity with my progress, please just let me know and I will do that for you. Um, or I will try to do that. I will do the best that of my ability to do so. Um, so uh, we have um, a bit of a snag. Um, I would really like to get into refined storage, but refined storage requires these processors and processors requires processor binding which means we need slime balls. Um, we don't have what it takes to create uh, pink slime yet because uh, we haven't gotten into industrial foregoing uh, and we haven't found any uh, slime ball areas yet. So the best that we can do is uh, dough in create. So um, dough in create, water, f uh, wheat flour, water bucket, um, and you get this by milling. So you can do it by crushing or by milling. Um, milling is going to be our go-to uh, because milling is a lot easier than putting together crushing, I believe. Um, so I, I'm not fully certain about this. Um, I've never really done much in Create, but I do know that uh, wheat flour is one of the ways that we can make slime balls and that is what we need right now so let me okay uh, we can't sleep yet oh thank you very much for jumping by um so i we've i've got the chunk borders up right now because we only have a certain amount of chunks loaded right now um so we are going to have to work within our limited chunks if we want this to stay loaded while we're not around. Um, so I was thinking uh, making a building kind of here-ish. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, so right around here. One, two, three, four. Five, six. And then we are going to need to take out this tree um, because we need to build a large uh, windmill. Um, we are, yeah. So I will work on that and then I will be right back. Um, Yes, quick introduction before a bit of a cut, uh, but it's just a uh, building of a general, uh, uh, a small building, um, just so that we can get a windmill kind of up and running. So um, I will see you in just a moment when I have some crafting to, to, to do. Okay, welcome back. Um, I've put in a little bit of work onto the building. Uh, so I've got the area and the, the foundation laid out here. Um, I don't have all the... Oops. No. I don't have everything laid out. Right here. Uh, or uh, essentially I don't have enough stone bricks to fully complete this so we're just going to leave it like this for right now um, something that I did think of when I uh, was working on this was the chunk is the actual windmill part is going to be out of the chunk the, the chunks that are currently loaded right now um, So hopefully that's not an issue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Okay. You need to be pushed out. Are you underneath that part? No, you should be underneath the inner part. That it's one, two, four, five, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I wanted to have this centralized right there. Maybe I haven't extended this out far enough. I'm so confused. I wanted to have this central. Three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I don't think I've extended the roof this way since I've expanded it slightly. So you need to be here. So just the finishing touches on this building. And then we'll need a little bit more roofing. Okay, but the main, the, the general outline of the, the building is right here. Um, so the next big thing is, is one, one, two, three, four, five. So five is we need to make the sail, the windmill part of a wind of the windmill. Um, so the sail frame, so andesite alloy and lots of sticks. So we have a decent number of sticks. No, we don't. We do not have a decent number of sticks. have to make more sticks um, but we do have some andesite which we've gotten from mining and andesite alloy is um, andesite and iron nuggets three four okay four so let's make so andesite alloy Looks like we're only able to make two right now. Okay, so two, that's 16. Um, oh, alterations are plenty. Um, white sail. So we need tough fabric, which is more sticks and industrial hemp fiber. Um, thankfully, I left this area chunk loaded and we have lots of industrial hemp fiber from the replanting that we did at the end of last episode. Okay, so this should be enough for two white sails. And then press W to ponder. 
Those are handy blocks to create windmills with. It will attach to blocks and each other without the need of super glue or chassis. Are equipped with a die to paint them. Are equipped with shears to turn them back into frames. Okay, what is uh, the windmill bearing? Windmill bearings attached to the block in front of them. Okay, so windmill bearing. It's a turntable, uh, stone, and a shaft. That is a shaft and that. Okay. So we need to. Nope. We need to get up there with a jetpack. There we go. Together a windmill. Okay. Okay, so four, be able to do four on each side here. Nice little windmill building. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Um, it'd be nice if we made this a little bit larger, but let's work on the windmill bearing first. So this can go, this can go, and that's what we need to connect to. No, that's what we need to connect to. So we need shafts, bing bong. Hello, Huskymon. Um, we need more andesite alloy for shafts. Turntable, which is slabs. Okay, so we have a windmill bearing. Magic stress capacity is large. Um, we're going to need a gearbox, which is andesite alloy and lots of buttons. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That alloy, lots of buttons. Okay, cog wheels. How much did we need for a gear box? Was it four? Yeah, we needed four, okay. Oh, no, we got eight cogwheels, never mind. Um, so, let's see, gearbox, and andesite casing. We need a second andesite. Explore these, but we just need one and four. 
for the gearbox. Okay, so this will allow us to get this. Nope. Connected. Okay. And then right click with the bearing with an empty hand to attach the structure you just built in front of it. Okay, so we now have a windmill that is turning. Awesome. Turning at a very slow rate, but it is turning. Turning means that it will process things. So we can attach gear, we can attach shafts um, to this, and it will turn at the exact same rate. So let's go. Yeah, let's go one. Oh, one more. And then the gearbox. Because the gearbox will transform it into from horizontal oh, to vertical. And we need to turn this gearbox into a vertical gearbox. So you do that just by putting it in the crafting table. So now the, the gearbox is coming down this way, and we can attach shafts here. Which means we can put and then a cog wheel here. We'll We'll put the um, means that we now have a functioning mill. A very, very base, very kind of slow, but it's it is turning, it is working, um, and we just need to attach more sail frames to get it to uh, work faster. Um, but we don't need fast; we just need working. So let's build the um, the millstone itself. So two more andesite alloys. And that is a millstone. Okay. Here, one of these there, and it is now turning. So we can now put um, uh, let's get a hopper. Well, we have everything we need to make a hopper. And some wheat. It goes in and it will begin it will begin crafting um, and then slowly but surely we'll get It's going to put all the wheat in? We don't need all the wheat in. Because all the wheat in is going to take a, a long time. Well, well, what else do we can we use dough for? Crafted directly into bread. There we go. We've got some wheat flour. Which is exactly what we need to get started into um, uh, uh, applied energistics. No, not, not applied energistics, refined storage. Okay, so here we go.
What do you mean we need some fruitcake? All we have is dough. I don't think we have the availability to make fruitcake yet. Okay, so dough, and then we will need um, green, green dye. So to get green dye, uh, what's the best way to get green dye? No, lime dye. You can use vanilla pods, yucca fruit, star coral, green dye and white dye, color posy. So it looks like lime dye has to be made from mortar, mortar and pestle, then mystic botania flowers. So each one of these will have two petals. And then mortar and pestle them up into lime dye. And lime dye and dough will create us a slime ball. And there we go. Success. A little bit of a roundabout way to go to go about making it. But we now have um, we now have everything to uh, to get into uh, refined storage. So let me put some of this away. Craft this back into bars. Put the bars away. This away. And go into there. There, you can stay into here. Okay, a little bit of inventory cleanup. Sounds like our furnace is done, so let's pop in some more stone. Okay. we are well on our way um the next most important thing that we need to do is um either get directly into refined storage itself or uh, we need to work towards the future and begin to automate um uh, automate plastic Still working away. So, um, let's see, block placer. Do you require plastic? Yes, you do require plastic. Um, but the Latex processing unit requires one box, one bucket of latex. We can get the bucket of latex from the fluid extractor. So let's make a fluid extractor. Two, to be precise. Cobblestone, pity machine frames. Where did that come from? Are you sneaking out of things? Can't let our protection three get get away from us. Okay.
blocks of wood. This should be enough. Two light rated pressure plates. So four pieces of gold. it as is. Very open. It'll let me know when things are done processing. Still need to work on the, the building on this side. The, the roof a little bit. Okay, let's do that now. Because it, otherwise it looks a little wonky. Okay. Um, Intending for this to be a small building, but it just kept getting bigger and bigger in the and how large I, I would originally was planning on making it. Now it's maybe too big. Could have been one one shorter on like in all regards. Kind of like having that bamboo there. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to chop it down. Yeah, chop down the bamboo. Keep it as is. Keep the theme. Okay, sounds like the machines downstairs are done processing the gold. Uh, so let's get it processing stone a little bit more. Just in case we need some more stone for building in the future. Um, light weighted pressure plates. What else are we missing? Cobblestone and pistons. Cobblestone and pistons. So two pistons, two fluid extractors. Then we're going to need some more wood. We have a lot of a lot of planks and processed wood, but we don't have a lot of we have some birch. I misspoke. Okay, so over here, uh, over here we can have this set up. Where you place down that and then it begins working. So it begins extracting latex, and it doesn't need power, but we can give it power. Um, but that would mean we would need to make a lot more of these basic universal cables. So 
why don't we do that? Because these will run faster if they do receive power. Um, but regardless, they are creating latex, and that is kind of what we need. So tune in next time where we will finally get to the refined storage system. Uh, we will... Uh, this episode we have just made the groundwork uh, for uh, for refined storage and, and immediately after it, industrial foregoing. So thank you very much for tuning into this episode. Uh, this has been just Kyle. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you enjoyed the content. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please uh, leave a message down in the, the comments down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, take it easy.